Birds of prey are excellent hunters, strong flyers, and yet many are endangered. Why? Find out more about birds of prey. In the world of birds, raptors, or birds of prey, are king. Birds of prey are eagles and owls. They're osprey and falcons and many others. As a group, they're called raptors. You can identify raptors in several ways. They have a sharp, curved beak. They fly at amazing speed. And raptors kill with their feet. Raptors have sharp, curved talons or claws on their feet. They can capture and hold prey. They can snatch a fish right out of water or strike a bird in the air. Their special beak and talons work kind of like a knife and fork, spearing and tearing food. What do they eat? Different raptors eat different things. Some eat insects. Others eat small mammals like chipmunks or rabbits or sometimes fish. Birds of prey can fly very fast and almost silently. A peregrine falcon can dive at over 200 miles an hour. Birds of prey have keen hearing. A great gray owl can hear a vole running 60 feet away, even if the vole is under 18 inches of snow. And birds of prey have extremely good eyesight. A falcon can see a grasshopper 300 feet away. That's three to eight times better than humans see. Hey, if I could do that, I could see my lunch way down there. Raptors soar on air currents and then swoop down in search of food. Where do birds of prey live? You can find birds of prey anywhere in the world except Antarctica. One of the best places to find raptors is at the Morley Nelson Snake River Birds of Prey National Conservation Area near Boise. The canyon walls here are perfect for raptors' nests. But raptors can live anywhere there is a food supply, even in big cities. Raptors can't survive, though, when their habitat is destroyed by fire or by humans, or if its food supply disappears or is contaminated by chemicals in the environment. Scientists around the world are working to save those birds of prey that are threatened with extinction. You know, humans have always had a special relationship with birds of prey. Jim Wilmark is a licensed falconer at the World Center for Birds of Prey. Falconry is the hunting of wild quarry with trained raptors. This is a kestrel. And he is the fal smallest falcon in North America. Not necessarily him himself, but uh, the species. This equipment on him, these anklets, and these are jesses, one on each leg, and these come down and they're attached to a swivel, and that goes on a leash. And this is, over the thousands of years, people have found that this is the best way to keep falcons unless they're free lofted. So this that I'm going to swing is a lure. And this one looks a little like a blackbird, but it could look like anything. And falcons are trained to allure because often they're so far away from you that they can't hear you, but they can always see you swinging a lure. So if I swing this and drop it on the ground, they should come over and get it. There he goes. <laughs> if you really want to be a falconer and fly a bird, you better plan on spending a large part of your life doing it. Most of the people that I know that are falconers end up being biologists or working with birds. Um, the appeal of it is just watching the birds fly. Humans have been hunting with falcons for more than 4,000 years. We've long been fascinated by these masters of the sky. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, material for educators and parents, and much more. You'll find it all at sciencetrek.org.